Does anyone else have this problem? You get this king size bed frame and then the slats that they give you to put across it are inadequate for the load that the bed has to carry. So a bed frame like this is supposed to eliminate the need for a box spring, but the slats are just cracking and bowing and they're not supporting the weight of that big king size mattress. And you know, my mattress started to fold up like a taco and your back starts to hurt. So we got to get to the we gotta get to a solution for this so that we don't ruin our nice mattress. One of the problems is that the area where the drawers slide in is not supporting the mattress above it. So the mattress is caving in on the drawers, causing this crappy masonite composite material to just kind of flake and cave in. And you know, there's a lot of staples sticking out. So every time you open the drawer, you're getting cut. So right here, you can see that uh, the masonite material is just sinking in from lack of support. So we got to reinforce this. Okay, here you could see where some of the furring strips are just cracking. The, I mean, you could go through and put all these um, vertical support pieces on every single piece of slat, but man, what a pain in the butt. And you're still gonna have the issue. And if you have to, God forbid, if you have to slide the bed left or right, you're just gonna kick out all those support legs. So the first step is gonna be removing all of the screws that are keeping the slats in place, the furring strips in place. I mean, you could see right on the finger joint, these slats are cracking and breaking. Everything is tied together with this polyweb. Okay, now that the slats are removed, we got to remove the support members that were holding the slats in place because I want to beat those up with some two by fours. So we got to get all of this. See, it's like a one inch screw. This was glued on, so we got to tap it off. And we're going to beef this up. So I got to get that one off. Check out these scrap pieces of wood that they were using to support the masonite material above the drawers. Easily removable with just using my fingers. It's all just stapled in there. We're going to use one of the slats that we removed, one of the ones that we deem in good condition, and we're going to rip it down a little bit, and we're going to glue it on and beef it up with some nice wooden torque screws, and that should give us a lot more support above the drawer assembly. Okay, now here, we got to really reinforce where the drawers are because the strip of wood that was here before, it's like a one inch by one and a half inch piece of whatever, you know, pine. It had cracked under the weight of the mattress. So I had to use an oscillating tool to get the old piece out because there were pocket hole screws and some wooden dowels and lots of glue. So cleaning out all that old stuff, we just want to get that nice and squared off so we can get a new piece of wood in there. So there's one, two, there's three uh, areas we had to clean out. And you can see here that we took all that old support trim off. Okay, here's the new piece. I just used one of the old cross member slats. Even though that this furring strip isn't gonna support the biggest load of the bed, I still wanna have something here to take some of the pressure off of uh, the drawer assembly. The majority of the bed support is gonna be on, the, on this joist system that we're gonna put in. So this is pretty well supported now, and you could see under here, uh, we wanted these blocks of wood to support some of the weight at the foot of the bed. So by beefing up this, we, we just glued and screwed a block in here, and then another one right here. And then we ensured that below this block, we had a continuous vertical support going to the floor. So you could see that under each one of these extra blocks, we added that uh, support to the floor. Okay, so right here you could see the slats that we glued heavily and placed uh, as support members above the drawers. And you gotta make sure that they're not gonna interfere with the drawer opening and closing, but they're gonna add a lot more support and they're continuous. So we made sure that over each one of the drawers we have a continuous piece of wood instead of the three pieces of scrap stapled that they had previously had in there. So I didn't actually take a video of installing these pieces of wood, but you'll see them later on how that looks. So here we go. We strapped a nice solid continuous piece of two by four uh, where those existing support pieces were. We just screwed it. We did not add any glue because if we have to disassemble this, it would be a lot easier to not have to fight the glue. And these two inch screws, we deemed plenty adequate enough to add that support. And I sunk them into the bed frame, you know, a good extra half inch. Okay, so here we have our first 
let's call it a floor joist, right? We used a two by four bracket and we're just strapping it to the side walls of the bed frame. Basically making a floor assembly with floor joists. And then we added some vertical supports just in the middle. You could see we snuck a piece of carpet face down onto the hardwood floor. So the backing is up against a two by four and then the soft part is against the vinyl plank so that we don't have to scratch it if we have to push the bed over or anything like that. So right here, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that all your support members are plumb with each other so that the plywood will rest evenly across uh, this new bed frame. And here you can see we're putting some 7 16 OSB right on top of our floor joist assembly, AKA bed frame. And there we just gotta fill in the blanks. We just had to rip a piece of OSB to finish in the rest here. And there's the finished product, right? We have, this thing is solid. I gotta confess, I had a great night of sleep on this thing. It felt nice and flat. It was almost, it almost felt crooked because I was so used to sleeping on a sunken mattress that having one that actually is straight and firm felt crooked to me. So I think my spine is gonna thank me in the long run and it's gonna preserve the life of your mattress if this thing is not getting folded in half like a taco. So quick and easy fix. Might as well get to the root of the problem and reinforce your bed frame properly instead of all these cheap solutions that never work. Uh, let me see how much I spent on this thing. Price of lumber right now is ridiculous. So I used seven two by fours. This whole thing costs about 135 bucks and that's because um, a slice of four by eight, seven sixteenths OSB right now is up to 46 bucks. And a two by four by eight is at, is up to $6 and 59 cents. So, so a year ago, you know, um, March, 2020, this project probably would have cost half of this price. So it probably would have cost you about 70 bucks. It seems that lumber prices have doubled since last March, so this cost 135 bucks. But it's going to preserve your mattress, which probably, well, for me, costs about 1200 bucks to 1500 bucks. So it's going to save my mattress and save my back, and you can't really put a price on saving your back. So quick and easy solution. So now you've got a mattress with the support of the floor without it being on the floor.